Hey there, and welcome to Painting Ninja. So these guys, the moment have gone all blacked up, and then we'll point out that the guy on the left um, managed to tear the other ankle, so I think she's lost both of her feet now and had to have them glued back in. Which is more for me, but that's by the by. So first up, I'm just going to block everything in charcoal grey. And then I will highlight that with a lighter grey and then I'll take that up to white. So first of all, I'll just block everything in charcoal grey. Catch you in the moment. Okay, as we have it, that's our charcoals all laid up. The only thing I haven't done is paint the, the hair or the... Um, I don't know whether it's actually meant to be. They are meant to be female, so I'm assuming it's long hair. Um, but it's probably going to be green long hair on both of them because that will conform with the Oniwaban green-black colour scheme. And so next up, I'm going to just dry brush everything with a medium grey. Like It's going to be a wet dry brush. Um, I'm going to use the dregs of the charcoal grey. I'm going to mix in some uh, light cold grey uh, from the game colour range. Is it game colour? I think it's game colour. It is game colour, cold grey. And uh, that will lighten up that grey. And then I will get back to you in just a second. Here we've got our mid-tone grey then all dry brushed over. It's a pretty heavy dry brush, like I said, it's sort of a wet dry brush rather than a dry dry brush. And it's just because I want to, um, the dark grey, I worked into all of the recesses because uh, I just want to add a layer of paint at that point and make sure that I cover up all of the black. This uh, facilitates the black sticking better because you're not then fingering, finger handling it. And you can see there's a little bit of wear on the hair there where the enamel's starting to... Uh, take damage from me holding them by the hair because I'm scared of breaking their ankle again Oop. Um, but nonetheless next up is uh, taking white and this time it will be dusting it with a much um, finer highlight and after I've done that I'll apply my favourite thing the black ink wash and that will then be all of the sort of base tone for all of the black done I won't faff on with that maybe some final highlights in the last innings, last round, the last touch of paint if you will. But this means that in the base going process we would have covered all of the black and we won't have to fuff on with it later. We can just concentrate on the details and the, the points of interest if you will. So I'll get this dry brush done I'll be back in a moment. Here we have it then. Everything's been taken up to white. Um, I say taken up to white. It's been dry brushed up to white. Um, it's gone pretty white now. And it gets that chalky effect, mucky, messy, dry brushy, lazy, lazy me. But it's just to establish tonality so that when I now apply the black ink, we we'll get a, should get a full sort of pre-highlighted or pre-toned might be a better way of putting it because um, there'll still be like highlights and stuff to do afterwards. Color range for the black. And considering these are essentially all in black, I think we we'll do them with um, either white or red face masks. Probably white. Uh, maybe with red cheeks, because they have like, you can't really see, but they have like panels in their cheeks, which are cut in panels. Have their eyes glowing green and have their hair green. And um, the comlogs green. So all the glowy bits will go green, I think. Um, I'm quite keen to keep my ninja all sort of in the black and green and white combo, colour combo, to keep them in line with the only weapon which I started. Although the only weapon still has the orange stripe on its leg, which was to suggest that they're perhaps working for the Yu Ching. Or oh, they're just mercenaries. They don't mind who they work for. Either way, next up, black ink. I'll get that done. I'll be back in a moment. Here you have it then. Once you've given them the uh, black ink wash, gives you that nice toned black quality and he's all up and ninja fired so just the final stages and I'll just do all this as a one or a thing and I'll get back to you in a moment with uh, just the green all the greens that I want blocked in and the face masks blocked in with a, a blue grey so we've got the base colour for white there we have it then all done and base coated up um, I might end up running in the details because I was looking at the ones which have been painted by uh, Mr. Angel Kiraldes himself. And uh, it uses a lot of gold finishing on it. I'm trying to stay clear of that. Um, I'm not sure whether I will do any kind of super fine finishing. Whether I'll actually leave these as a pretty 
Um, basic's the wrong word, I think simple. I quite like simple. Uh, this is a very effective way I find of giving um, a good tonal range without too much fuss if you're a brush painter. Um, so if you want to break it down for any colour really it is start with a dark tone. Um, so if you want to do this like say yellow maybe you start with um, something a bit darker like a, a lighter brown. Um, and then you run up a mustard brown and then you run up a yellow ochre and then you run a yellow over that and then you, well, you knock it up to white so you go brown, yellow ochre, white and then knock everything back with a yellow ink so. and it works for these Vallejo inks in particular because they are matte finish um, this is incredibly important because if you're using an ink which has a gloss finish, unless you want a gloss finish or a polished finish, a uh, polished satiny finish, there's a lot of inks with a satiny finish as well. Um, it, it doesn't work so well in my opinion, um, unless you're specifically looking to end up with a miniature which is a bit shiny, which you may well be. And I'm just looking at this and I've just realised I haven't painted the com log in on the one on the left. I'll do that before the next video. So, whatever, I hope this is some interest use to you and that you're painting all things you want to paint and you're assembling the armies that you want. Thank you for watching, have a good one, take care. Bye bye.